Hey guys, Luke here. We're back for another episode of the Dream Team Tour. I'm just going to get straight into the match. And as you can tell by the title, we're taking on the team of hookers. So this is quite an interesting one. But uh, while we're getting into the loading screen, I'd like to ask you if you could drop a like. That'd be really cool. Hopefully we can maybe hit five if we're lucky. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can contribute. Also, remember to leave comments and stuff. Any questions, uh, I'll be happy to reply. And also the big one is subscribing to the channel. Trying to hit 500. We're nearly there. We've got 20 or so to go from memory, so hopefully we can hit it in the near future. Now this team here, it was it was a hard one to do, but also one of the easiest ones to do. Um, obviously every team's got, got a hooker, it's not hard to distinguish who's the natural hooker, who's not, um, and yeah, it was pretty straightforward. The only thing was some teams, some teams don't really have, like they have the two hookers playing, and then, I don't know, who do you pick, who do you pick out of them two, and then sometimes like the players didn't haven't played the whole season, and... Yeah, so it was a little, it was tough in some parts, but not really. Um, and also trying to pick who plays in what position, because uh, they can all kind of play in similar positions. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge, but for the most part, yeah, like I said, not too much going on. Now I thought I'd make it clear uh, for people asking. Um, so there's going to be this one. There's going to be one more. After, sorry, there's going to be this one, and then two more following videos of um, the Dream Team. And we're moving on to my Warriors one now. Uh, sorry, New, like the New Zealand Warriors, not Wigan Warriors. Um, now, if wow, wow, wow! Look at that glitch. <laughs> Leave in the comments your thoughts on that glitch. That was quality. Uh, yes, yeah, so New Zealand Warriors um, is. I've done that series before. Uh, if you wondering where it is, you can go find it in, uh, on my channel. I think I've got a playlist of it, so if you go check out all my places, it's in the description actually, I've got all my playlists. So you can go that, or you can just go into my channel, click playlist, and should be a Warriors one. Um, not the manager one, I'm talking about like the proper, the proper one. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a second season, we've got the World Club Challenge and all that sort of stuff, plus I've got signings to make, so it should be interesting. Hopefully we didn't drop that one, thankfully we haven't. It looks things, yes, we haven't. So I spent enough time, you know, plugging my own channel and that sort of stuff. I think it's time to start discussing the site. So it's in the description if you want to read that. And also, it's too late. Uh oh, such a good run, and we wrecked it. Come on, t come on, come on, Sonny. Um, yeah. So we go through from 117. We got James Seguiaro. We got Bo Falloon, Rory Cross, Jason, Andrew McCulloch, Isaac Luke, Cameron Smith, Robbie Farrell. So I'm trying not to look away from the screen too much. We've got Matt Ballin, Jake Friend, Michael Ennis, Glenn Buttress, Kevin Kingston. Uh, and then we have Nathan Peets in the benches, Adam Clydesdale, Nathan Friend, and Mitch Rain, and Michael Leacher. Oh, thank God. I thought he was going to score there. Oh, wow, that was forward. Oh, what a tackle from G.I. Oh, I thought we got it again. We're going for the intercepts from the pass. Come on, Aguero, get it. Emmy, hold him in the tackle. Please kick it dead. Please kick it dead. That'd be funny. We're under some serious pressure here. Uh, so, yeah, let's start talking about the side. So, fullback, I thought this one was a pretty pretty easy one to pick, or as apart from maybe Isaac Luke or someone, but, you know, there's not that many, like, speedsters. Maybe, um, what's his name? Uh, he plays for Panthers as well. Not Seguiara. He's still, like, backup. Mosley. Oh, and they finally score. Wow. Kieran Mosley could have maybe been there, but I thought Segura, yeah, he's probably most suitable. Um, he's quick and he's steppy, and you can kind of, I hope you can see where I'm coming from, picking him. Now, who scored him? Number 12 was Kevin Kingston, so, yeah. Segura yeah, was the obvious one, I thought. Bo Falloon, it was kind of like, well, where do we play him? And he's kind of, I don't know, I don't know really know his style. I know he won Titans Player of the Year, but really, like, he won Player of the Year. Over Greg Bird and Nate Miles and that. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think that they're kind of just... You know how there's like a kid who always tries hard and you're like, mm, well, you have to give him some award. So, here you go. Because there's no way Bo Falloon had had it been their best player. Well, maybe it is. Maybe that just shows Titan season. I don't know. So, he, he was he was the backup. I remember he was the backup hooker for Rabbitohs a few years ago. Anyways, move on to Rory Cross Jason, who's in the center. Cowboys, uh, he proved me wrong a little bit this year. I always thought he was pretty shit. And I, I'm not saying he's like a top, top player, but, you know, he's a solid player. 
Um, he can probably play in an NRL side. He's probably better than some of the other hookers in the comp. Um, so, you know, it's good for him. Um, and yeah, he's in the centre just because I know he's not the slowest. And uh, I think he might have played in the forwards before. And they make the tackle. Oh, wait, we're playing hookers. That's why they would have made that one. <gasps> Smith couldn't get there. Come on, Beast. Beastwood can't get there. The shit. I should have went to Graham. Should have cannonballed it over the line. Come on, J um, I was going to say J-Moz. What am I doing? Ken Smith puts in a little grubber for himself. Um, yeah, across Jason, decent player. I don't know if he's ever played centers, but we just threw him in there. Andrew McCulloch, it's sort of more of a where we play him, and I just threw him in the centers because... I don't think he'd ever play in the forwards or anything. Not that any of these guys really do play in the forwards or anything in the backs. And I really need yawn. That was a nice in and out play. I did yawn there. Hopefully it wasn't too noticeable. I tried to keep talking, so chances are you're going to be like, what's that noise? And then you hear me going, and then, and then, because I find it really funny when people continue on talking while they're yawning, but I do it all the time. Let's get back out. Inglis. And a try to GI. He's been superb for us this game. Uh, and that gives us time to go into the other winger, which is Isaac Luke. Um, he's just there because I had him initially penciled in for hooker, but I was like, no, nah, we need some speed on the wings. And um, Isaac Luke, probably one of the quickest ones here, apart from Seguiara, I'd say. And uh, he can get in, take some little runs out from dummy half uh, when they're under pressure and all that, from kick returns, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, he's on the wing there. Moving to the halves, Cameron Smith, Robbie Farrar. Now, Robbie Farrar is the halfback hooker, um, lock, wing, everything at the Tigers, well, at least he thinks he is. Um, I think he has played halfback, so it's not. Well, both of these guys have played halfback. I don't know how successful. I keep thinking Cameron Smith would be a really like good halfback, but I have a feeling that when he played halfback, he wasn't that good. But I suppose that's just because he's, you know, carrying the side at that stage. Um, Robbie Farrell also played hooker for a little bit when they had a lot of injuries and played okay, I suppose. It's, it's hard to remember because it was years ago. Um, no, no doubt they, they could probably play halfback a lot of these guys. Um, it's just that hooker is such a specialised position that you can't afford to be taking players out of position. Whereas halfback, you can sort of maybe throw in a player there for a game. I don't know. I'm probably talking out of my ass here. And um, nothing's making sense. And I hope not, but that's probably what it's like. And, yeah, so Rui Farrow and Cameron Smith are the halves combination. Um, yeah, I, I think Cameron Smith could be, if he wanted, if he played halfback, he'd probably be the best halfback in the world. No disrespect to John Thurston or anything. That's just, Smith's just that good. He's got that, that good of a football brain. And it probably, it's going out. No, it's not. I thought it was going out in the full. Yep, so let's get off the hookers. Uh, sorry, the hookers, they're all hookers. Let's get off the halfback and 5 8. And move on to the forward pack. So this is quite an interesting forward pack. What the hell? They were supposed to go right, but ended up going to Red Radra. So, Sunny built. Can get it offload. We do. Sam Tompkins takes it around Seguiaro. Can he make it there? He will make it under the post. Great try. Nice little offload from Sunny Bill. And that gives us time to have a look at the four pack. So first one was Matt Ballum. Now a lot of these guys, the two props in particular, there's, there's no one who can play a prop. There's a few guys who can play second row and lock, but no one who can really play prop. So I threw in the people who can play second row, I put them in the second row and lock and all that. And then the people who are left over, I've put in prop or the bench. But these two, uh, being Matt Ballum and Michael Ennis, are the props. I put these guys in as starting props because of their defense and you know they make a lot of tackles on props and can hold their own probably they take the runs if needed um, like a hit up um, they're actually kind of similar players in ter terms of they're not players who would you know run out of dummy half all the time but um, they're direct around the team they're just tough make lots of tackles all that sort of stuff so I've never really thought about it before but yeah they're pretty similar I would say I'm, I'm sh sure Manly fans would disagree but just as a neutral, well actually it's not really a neutral, I'm a Bulldog supporter, but um, it's just my observa observation of them, so let's try and get a nice little kick away, probably not going to happen, at least we didn't get charged down, that's the main thing, and they run out, who's number two, number two is Bo Falloon, 
So he sucked in bow. Oh, he passed a little bit too early there. Um, so the hooker, the actual hooker of the side I picked was Jake Friend. Now, it's more of the fact that I don't know any other positions that he could play. And, you know, we're pretty pretty covered for the halves and all that sort of stuff. Cameron Smith's not needed there. Robbie Farrow's not needed. So, Jake Friend it was. Um, that was a pretty nice try. I didn't catch who it was. Who scored was a Hayne. We'll see in a sec here. It looks like Hayne. Yep, it is Hayne. Number four, Jared Hayne. Um, yeah, so hook of Jake Friend. Um, pretty cool how he overcame the little injury. I don't think he was ever right, but I remember him, he was still going off the periods of the match and getting checked up with a doctor. I know it's all precautionary, but when you're still having to do that, there's something not right. Especially the type of injury he had. Probably not something you want to rush back, but I suppose it's final football and people do crazy things. Let's look at Sam Burgess. Um, so let's go into the second row. We've got Glenn Buttress is the first one who I think he's actually only played lock, but you know, similar enough. Um, I wouldn't say he's, he's not, uh, I don't know how to say this nicely, I'm not going to say he's shit, because obviously they're all played in a role, but out of all the hookers, he's probably, you know, rated number 16 in the comp, maybe, but he also has the ability to be uh, pretty versatile, so he can play forwards as well if needed, and I think that was him in the tackle just there before. So I suppose that that's a thing going for him. I mean, if he if he left Raiders, he probably could pick up another club, maybe Super League or something. I don't know. Um, he'd probably be a good backup. But, but yeah, at, at the Raiders, I suppose he's their first choice. And um, why leave when you can stay there at the Raiders? First choice, get decent money. And uh, yeah, get to live in Canberra. Go to Questacon all the time. Because Questacon is the best, not. So uh, the other second row was Kevin Kingston, who... I've never really thought he played second row until this year. Or oh, high tackle on Red Rod, uh, by Red Rod, I should say. Now, Kingston, I think he was always a, hook, um, a hooker, but due to Sekiyaro's rise, like, so quickly, they sort of were like, oh, shit, how do we put our captain in the side while having Sekiyaro? And in the end, they ended up dropping him. But he played quite a while playing lock, and, like, he would start a hooker, they bring on Sekiyaro, and then he would move to lock or second row or whatever. Another high shot. Jeez, we're going to get someone um, seen being here sent off. If we don't watch ourselves. Um, so there's Pete. We'll be talking about him in a sec. Come on, make a tackle. And then the lock was Nathan Pete, who, yeah, like I said, we're just going to talk about. Oh, thank God we made that tackle. Yeah, Nathan Peets, um, for Rabbitohs, came in and played in the forwards, I think, for most... I don't really remember him coming on and playing hooker too much, unless Isaac Lick was injured. But when he'd come off the bench, he would come in and he would... What a tackle. Yeah, he would come in and play a lock or second row or whatever, just kind of, you know, drift around. And it's a knock-on, and no advantage. Great defence there. Um, a little bit improved on before. And then we move on to the bench. Adam Clydesdale, I'd say he's probably the first choice in the Knights hooker. I don't know if he actually is... Because, you know, they had lots of injuries throughout the year. And Kirk Gidley is, like, side off playing hooker. But I'd say they should persist with him. Because, you know, Kirk Gidley... How long has he got left? I don't know. And they're going to need a replacement. They can't... They can't... Oh, shit. And they can't heap, um, just throw Gidley into random positions. Um, and, per frankly, I don't think he's good enough to be hooker. He's, I don't know. He, also, one thing I don't get with Gidley is... They talk about how fit he is and stuff, but, yeah... Um, he doesn't play a full game. Doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, off Clydesdale. We've got Nathan Friend, who's another one who's just a workhorse. Probably getting a bit too old now. Um, oh, they're going to score right on the bell. Wow. That's shit. Um, yeah, so Nathan Friend. He's just a good, solid player. <laughs> he doesn't really fit anywhere into this side, but we had to put him in there. Same for Mitch Rain, a good, solid player. Uh, I think Rain's got a pretty good future ahead of him. I don't know. I don't know how good he is. I don't know. Maybe he's peaked already. I don't know. Have to wait and see. And then Michael Leacher, who is going to be the best thing ever. As a Bulldogs fan, I hope that's what happens. I hope he's going to be better than Cameron Smith. We, he will. He will. Got to be positive. Got to be positive about that. So that's all the team time. They score with both Loom. We'll have a look at their goal. Their goal kick with uh, Cameron Smith. And uh, they're going to take the shot here. And you saw it. Just went straight over. And, well, just looking at Cameron Smith here, the number six. Let's say uh, thank you for watching. Pick up another win. Just the one loss so far. And we only got two more games left, so hopefully we can keep it to just the one loss. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. That would be awesome. And 
subscribe to the channel and also with the like things to try and get five likes it'd be cool and um, yeah subscribe try and get to 500 and check out all my other playlists and all that sort of stuff all right thank you guys for watching and also if you want to follow me on twitter my handles at mr luke on yt so there you go all right i'll see you guys for the next episode which will be just the rest of the forward pack all right see you guys bye